In part 2 of this series, we will be carrying out an F-actin staining. F-actin is important in many cellular processes such as cell signaling and cell division. These are the reagents and equipment needed. Do check if you have everything before you start. Firstly, add 100 microliters of 37% formaldehyde to 900 microliters of culture and incubate at room temperature for 10 minutes. Next, spin down the cells at 3000 RPM for 2 minutes and discard the supernatant. Make sure the centrifuge is balanced and be careful to leave the cell pellets intact. Following this, add 1 ml of PBS containing 1% Triton X and resuspend the cell pellet for 1 minute. Then, spin down the cells at 3000 RPM for 2 minutes and discard the supernatant carefully. Next, resuspend the cell pellet in 1 ml of PBS. Repeat these steps 3 times. Next, resuspend the cells again in 100 microliters PBS and then add 10 microliters of Alexa 488 for Loidin. Incubate the samples at room temperature in the dark for 20 minutes. Next, add 1 ml of PBS and spin down the cells at 3000 RPM for 2 minutes. Then, remove the supernatant carefully and resuspend the cell pellet in 20 microliters of PBS. Then, spot 1 microliter of cell suspension on a microscope slide and place a cover slip over the samples carefully. Make sure there is ample space for both samples on the slide. Observe the cells with high magnification using all as well as in 100 times all immersion objective. When operating the inverted microscope, be sure to add the oil droplet to the lens instead of the glass slide. Take images of the cells using the FITC filter and with the tungsten lamp filter. These are the images you should be able to see. Thank you for watching. Have a good laboratory session!